Chicago at the very fucking end, kicking Jesus Burgess out the way Jesus Burgess thinks he could like scheme everything. He really thinks he's that smart. Like, he really thinks he's smarter than Sabo, than everybody here where he could just like manipulate everything. Oh, Del Flamingo's obviously taking care of Luffy and the Straw Hats. It's my time now. Motherfucker, you gotta realize like you're not the only one here. And granted, you're part of the Blackbeard Pirates, which are beast. But this is not Blackbeard Pirates time, okay? This is Doflamingo Luffy Straw Hats time. And with Sabo in the equation, motherfucker, you're in the back. I think it's pretty sad to say this, but Sabo's going to need to tend to Jesus Burgess really quickly and put him down in a way that doesn't really degrade Jesus Burgess because Jesus Burgess is going to be a big asset in the future. And if he's completely embarrassed right now, like it's gonna be bad for his character development, etc. So I'm just thinking of ways Sabo can take care of Jesus Burgess, maybe tend to him a little bit later, but take care of Doflamingo at the very second because the gladiator ain't doing a damn thing. Like, I don't care about Gat's fucking announcement. Did you hear that, people? Luffy, the savior of Dressrosa, needs 10 minutes. Buy him as much time as possible. Like, ain't nobody care about Gats, bro. Like, if Gats was giving an announcement, I sure as hell wouldn't even listen. And even though Luffy hit Doflamingo with his pound, man, as we saw in this chapter, Luffy is in a much more terrible state than Doflamingo is, because even though Doflamingo got hit, Luffy pretty much exhausted all of his energy, thus needing 10 minutes to recover so that his, you know, hockey could replenish. And it fucking sucks, because we were this close to putting Doflamingo down. Like, he was charging right towards Doflamingo with another heavy-ass hit, and then he just like deflated and like flew to the ground and oh man, he just looked exhausted, tired. Even 10 minutes, it's questionable. Like if he would be able to even fight on equal terms with Doflamingo, even though Doflamingo got hit pretty hard and I don't think he's going to be as strong as he was any time before. He's not in a state where he's asking nobody for 10 minutes like Luffy is. And it's really going to be up to Sabo to not only take care of Jesus Burgess, but to take care of Doflamingo. Yes, I think that these two brothers are going to fight. Now, would it be a little bit hacks for Sabo to actually fully fight? Like Doflamingo? Sort of. Like, if Luffy gets 10 minutes time and he replenishes his hockey and then you have Sabo there, it's going to be overkill. I, I, I don't think those two are going to be able to fully fight Doflamingo because it's simply not fair to Doflamingo. Not like Doflamingo deserves fair situations, but y'all get the point. Oh, it is just not going to write Doflamingo into a corner like that, even though he's sort of in a corner right now and he can't do much, even though he got the birdcage. And as we all know, all he got to do is proxy it up. Like, all he got to do is continuously threaten the civilian population and force people out of his way because again he's using that in a way to protect him it's a shield using everybody as a hostage or simply killing everybody off because it's going to take a lot more to put him down and once they put him down they're not necessarily guaranteed everybody's going to be alive by the time they do so maybe a lot of people will get crushed by the bird gauge we got a whole lot to deal with here and this is assuming that jesus burgess is going to like easily be taken out and i highly doubt it because yeah we've seen those two fight in the coliseum sabo and jesus burgess and sabo kind of made a little joke out of him and even in this chapter after when Luffy had nobody protecting him and Jesus Burgess literally had open game and shit, Sabo just brushed him off, kicked him away. However, this is Jesus Burgess we're talking about. Like, this is the right-hand man to Blackbeard. He's not going down so easily. He's holding his ground. And even though his original goal of getting the Meta Meta no Mi is gone now that Sabo has this shit, I think he's going to be motivated by the fact that if he indeed does kill Sabo, the Meta Meta no Mi will appear somewhere in the world and then that's a bigger chance for Blackbeard to acquire this shit than if Sabo has it and he doesn't kill him. Nonetheless, I think killing Sabo is just completely out of the question. I do think he's going to put up a fight and I don't think that 10 minutes is going to be enough. I, I just don't. I think the funniest thing about the situation is that everything could be solved if guess who shows up and starts defending Luffy from the gladiators? <laughs> Fujitora! <laughs> but it's not happening. So I didn't need to bring it up. Now in this chapter when Luffy's talking to Gats, he implies that he's going to finish Doflamingo off with one final attack. Now I don't know if that's Pound Man or not. He doesn't really imply enough. However, I honestly don't think so. And I don't think Oda's going to give us a Gear 4th finale. And I don't think there's any need for a Gear 4th finale. I feel like Oda should savor some of the Gear 4th final attacks for like Kaido's or future enemies. And possibly finish Doflamingo off with traditional attacks. Attacks that he's constantly used in the past. Because I feel like introducing Gear 4th in this fight is important and Enough, but getting a final finish with Gear 4th, it's simply not needed, and he doesn't have enough energy to really go all in with Gear 4th. There's a limit to the how much you can fucking use that shit. So, I feel like he's going to end up using some traditional attacks, some attack that he's used in the past, maybe a weaker gear, or maybe another variation of the Gear 4th. Who can really say? Nonetheless, this guy seems really determined, and what team are you on? Do you think that Doflamingo is going to end up taking a lot of lives before he goes down? Because he is going down, let's keep it real. Or do you think Luffy's just gonna save the day, save everybody, and they're gonna end up getting 10 minutes, and Luffy's gonna get the fuck back up and put Doflamingo down, and 
it all comes down to this, like, the fact that we only need one last blow from Luffy, according to Luffy, really just makes me, like, feel like, uh, is it all comes down to this. Oh, boy, like, I really hope that they don't stretch this shit out to where, like, 10 minutes is, like, 10 chapters or something. Because that would be pretty bad and boring. And next week, it is going to be Sabo, Jesus, Burgess, and I, I think Sabo is just gonna kick this guy's ass.